Welcome to our kitchen episode. Today you will be viewing our kitchen before we renovated it to after. This is the before, it was very cramped and it's actually not a huge kitchen but somehow the storage made it 10 times worse. Whereas now as you can see it looks massive and there's loads of storage. So again before on one side it was just empty and we've added loads but it somehow seems bigger now than it was before so that's great. <laughs> we actually went with Ren Kitchens for the kitchen itself. We actually, we did compare different companies. We found that Ren Kitchen was the best from the, the design right through to um, the delivery and even replacing any damaged things that were sort of arrived damaged. You know, they were very good about it and there was absolutely no problems and they've been good as gold from the beginning really. So we were very excited to go with them. Um, Tearing out the old kitchen was fun, to say the least. <laughs> Rob, uh, the awesome kind of creator and DIYer that he is, he did a lot of electrical work, which did give me nightmares, but it was worth it. And there were quite a few things that he kind of labeled with just a pencil saying, I'll do this one, like that. So <laughs> that, was, that was very helpful to me. So um, I need to kind of stay away. Uh, and we had the ceiling plastered, which was great. And also instead of just having one main light, we actually have six or eight, I think we've got eight, which I had to actually just take a look then and double check. Uh, and it looks amazing. And I think light makes such a difference to a room, especially if it is a small room, you know? So we, we have loads of lights throughout our, our whole house. And then you actually have freedom more with your colors so that you can you can go darker colors if the lighting is there and the room won't look small it will actually look bigger so where people go lighter walls to make the room look bigger isn't always correct it's actually the lighting that will make it will make the room big um all we ripped out everything in the kitchen including the plumbing rob replumbed everything basically it was it was kind of a spaghetti situation before as you can see and Rob created a really nice, clean cut, smart system for under the sink, which is great. And this Rob putting the lights in now. Our lights in the kitchen are actually um, controlled by uh, wireless switches. So the plan eventually with the kitchen is the door leading into the kitchen from the living room. It's gonna have a barn style sliding door and we're gonna put the light switches on that on the door itself because there are no wires so you don't have to connect it to anything which is amazing and it's really we've got a lot of lights in the in the kitchen now so <laughs> kitchen and living room it's delightful oh and this is our temporary uh, tip that we had uh we didn't order a skip or anything we ordered a removal company so it didn't stay there for, t for too long but it was quite an experience looking out there every morning with your coffee contemplating life <laughs> and wondering what you've got yourself in for. Um, Rob did a lot of research into these jigs uh, for the kitchen units. So the units that we got from Wren, they actually arrive not cut because, you know, we need to do repair work on the walls and we, you know, they, you cut them yourselves basically. You can get companies to actually fit the kitchens for you um, that you order from Wren. However, we wanted to do it because we quite enjoy that kind of thing. So it was great. So Rob did Rob did a lot of research into the jig, into a lot a lot of it. I definitely couldn't have done it without him. And his OCD really shone through during this project, which is a real treat. So there were quite a few times I kind of bowed down. I said, you know what, you you um you're enjoying this, and your OCD is is on point today. So I'll, I'll stay out of your way and I'll let you crack on. <laughs> and there were other days where it was you know. Me, you know, trivial jobs and asked, you know what, I'll do this today so you can crack on with more difficult stuff. But we actually used the flexi camera to look behind the wall units just to make sure that the they were connected properly. Um, because obviously there's gonna be in that unit in particular, there's actually like glasses and mugs and things. So we didn't want to keep it on the wall and a year later for it to fall down and turns out it's not been connected properly. So we were really over cautious with it and triple checking everything which um definitely it was worth it because now we don't need to worry going forward 
and you can see how perfectly that fitted the worktop in um having those uh, those parts in the middle of them and that was with help from the jig and the sinks in it was it was a real treat living out of uh, using a bucket as a sink that was an, that was nice <laughs> um we we're very very excited for the sink to be put in so that is the kitchen nearly done there and it was really it wasn't long before it all started coming together and i think the last bit that really brought it all together for us was actually the tiling um which we are at this point are actually just sort of prepping the walls to do and um there was a lot of conversations about this corner bit because we didn't know whether to have a box section or a flat section and we both agreed that a flat section would actually look nicer in our opinion so um rob actually measured it out based on the size of the tiles we were going for so that you could get a full tile on that um for you know every other line of them um i was quite excited for the tiling to be honest i'd never actually tiled and i was really i felt quite ocd about getting it right because obviously it's our kitchen and you know you have to think about what what starting points you're going to go to you, you know base it on first and there was a lot of us laying tiles out across the kitchen worktop to see where things lined up um, we did decide to that when you walk in the kitchen your eyes immediately go to under the uh, extractor fan so that's that's actually where we started and every everywhere else sort of fell into place um, and then we went for a dark grey grout, which was awesome. So much fun to put in and so, so nice, as you can see, once it's all clean. <laughs> um, and yes, we did take off that blue um, safety label thing off the, uh, the units because that did drive me mad for the months that we were doing work on. So all I wanted to do is pull it. It's like when you get a new phone, you pull off the, uh, the safety thing on that. It's great. So this is the final reveal. This is our kitchen now, as of today. It is so nice. That little cubby hole actually for the chopping board was kind of a spur of the moment decision by Rob. His OCD said, well, basically he worked out that one side of the extractor was a bit longer than the other, which was technically in our plans, but he didn't like it. So he was like, I'm actually gonna make a cubby hole. <laughs> so we had uh, pieces of green um, sort of sides of units and things left over so he made out of that and it's really great. It actually looks like it's meant to be part of it. In between the join of the worktop we actually used it, the worktop came with this, it was like a bit similar to like a white chalk or white, a white wax and you kind of put it in between the seams um, so it makes it look really nice. I've uh, got the washing machine there hidden away which was really what we wanted. We also have a dishwasher as well. And that's the other side of the room. Oh, God, it is so nice then. So the fridge freezer's there, We've got a pantry unit there. It's just amazing. And we actually originally went to home base. We were going to actually get the kitchen from home base. And um, we gave them all the exact information and everything. I said, you know, really would like, like a pantry type, type of unit, you know, floor to ceiling door opening sort of from the middle out and um they were like yeah no there's no room whereas we went to rain and they're like yeah just put it into the fridge and honestly it was, like, it was just seamless and it, we were very very happy going with rain uh can't believe this before and afters it looks so much bigger now it is shocking uh if you want to know where we got any particular items or anything like that do comment below We'll attach the links to it. But until then, if you want to subscribe, please do. Bye.